God, why are you doing this to me? How long more do I have to go on like this before you take me out of my misery? If you're up there, will you please do something nice for me? I'm not asking for much. Right, now I'd settle for something to eat and a bottle of wine. You drank enough wine yourself when you were down here. So come on for fuck's sake and give me a break. All right? Mary? Any spare change? Where'd you sleep last night? Up the back of the train station by the wagons. Did you notice anything unusual? No. Why? Ah, nothing. Just asking. What happened to Rasher and Tone yesterday? Two scumbags jumped him. They gave him an awful hiding. Why? I think he asked one of them for a smoke. They laid into him. Kicked him in the head and everything. Who? I don't know. I wasn't there. The lads told me about it. Did Rasher know him? I think they said he knew one of them. Where's Rasher now? I don't know. I'm looking for him. You wouldn't have the price of a can, would you? Fair out, Mary. Do you want a cigarette? Nah, I never touch him. You should give them up too. They're bad for you, you know. Could be right, Mary. Come here. Take care of yourself and uh, stay out of trouble. Don't I always? Yeah, right. Good luck. I could do with a bit of that. Any grog, Mary? No, nothing. Have you a can? Ah, uh, I can give you one. And I have to chew now, mind you. Ah, thanks. Did you sleep here last night? Yeah, fucking cops woke us up at four o'clock this morning. She had a bottle of wine. They took it off her. Fuckers? They probably drank it themselves. Yeah, they're the ones with all the money. You think they'd buy their own drink? They don't care about us. What's wrong with Rasher? Ah, uh, he's like that for the last hour. I say he got a bad can last night. He had a fish last night. Maybe it was gone off. It wouldn't have anything to do with the kicking he got yesterday. Yeah. Even great for him last night, laughing and joking, telling us stories about the time he was in the Merchant Navy. <laughs> yeah, he travelled all over the world. He was in Russia and everything. You know, he only got like that an hour ago. Well, he'll be all right in a while. Here, I'm heading into town anyway. I'll see you later. <laughs> see you, Mary. Bye, Mary. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> You'll be all right in a while, Rusher. Oh. oh. Fair change, love. Come along, Sean. And it's fair change, love. Any chance of the price of a cup of tea, love? Why don't you go away and get a job? Why don't you go away and fuck yourself? Come on. Out you go. I only want a bottle of wine. I have the money. You're barred. It wouldn't kill you to let me get a bottle of wine. I have the money. I said you're barred. Now get out. I'll be call the police. Why don't you fuck off back to your own country and don't be coming in here telling us what to do? This is my country. Thank 
Would you go in there and get us six cans and a bottle of wine? I have the money, like. Are you sure now you have enough there for six cans and a bottle of wine? Yeah, you have. Are you sure? Yeah, go in and ask them. What's wrong with Rasher? I don't know. The cops came along and saw him. They called an ambulance. Ah, uh, it's better if he goes to the hospital. They might have to pump him out. Ah, Jesus, that's an awful dose. Happened to me once, you know. I wouldn't like to be him. Oh, thanks, Mary. You're a lifesaver. You're good to me when you have it. We help each other out. That's the way it is. Did you hear what happened to Bosco the other night? No, what? Tell her, Bosco. I was sleeping in a doorway in town on Thursday night. I woke up and there were two students after coming out of the disco and they pissing on top of me and calling me a smelly bastard. I didn't yeah. know that. That's out of all. They're the filthy bastards themselves. And they'll be the ones running the country in a few years. I should have only getting into practice with they be shitting on people. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the hospital to see how Rashad is getting on. Are you coming? Nah, tell him I'll see him later. And two have we got here? Mary. Mary, I'm delighted to meet you. My name is Taylor O'Mahony. I'll be helping out here for the next few months. Do you want to come on in and I'll get you a bowl of soup? Uh, thanks. How about sitting here? Is that yeah. OK? Good. Do you mind if I sit and talk with you for a while? If you like. We haven't seen you around here before, have we? I'm a long time on the streets. It must be a hard life. There we are, dear. Thanks. It's not easy. I get by. Mary, looking at you, I can see that you're a young woman. I'm sure if you had a word with God, he would not let you down. Does it look like as if God is trying to do me any favours? He's the one that has me in the mess in the first place. Now, Mary, we can't blame God for the decisions we make in lives ourselves. I can blame him, all right. He's the one that wrecked my life. And why is that? It's no matter now. I mean, living on the streets is not a real life for anyone. Well, as Oscar Wilde once said, one's real life is so often the life that one does not lead. I think that's true of me. You surprise me, Mary. I'd say there's more to you than meets the eye. Would you have the price of a cup of tea for later? I'll not give you money, Mary, but if you come back tomorrow, I'll give you something to eat. Thanks, anyway. See you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow, then. Have you the price of a can? What'll you give me for it? What do you want for it? You know what I want. Why just sit in and I tell you? Why don't you tell me here? You're not a fool. You know what I want. I know what you want, all right, you fucking perv, you. Why, well, you dirty bitch, and wash yourself. At least the dirt on me can be washed off with soap and water. I couldn't get the dirt off you with a scrubbing brush, you fucking pervert, you. Fuck off.
What's wrong? Rasher's dead. What? The doctor said he had inside bleeding. There was nothing they could do for him. God, that's terrible. Rasher was sound. I'm going to miss him. We'll all miss him. He was too young to die. He was only 46. That's far too young to die. People die younger than that. I know, but it doesn't make it right. I'm going up to the graveyard. I'll see you later. He's not there yet. I'm not going up to see Rasher. I wouldn't go near the graveyard. I hate graveyards. I'll see you later. I'm getting drunk anyway. How much money have I? Hope you girls are behaving for your dad. If you see God, ask him why he took you away from me. That's the first question I'm going to ask him when I see him. I'm going to ask him why he didn't take the four of us. Why did I have to stay here in this hell? I don't understand what I'm doing here. Linda's birthday's coming up next week. She'll be 18. She must be growing into a beautiful young woman now. And the lovely Lisa, not far behind. Sometimes I worry the girls were too young and they might forget me. Talk to them about me. Don't ever let them forget me. Do that for me, John, won't you? They say the time heals old wounds. Well, it's not true. My wounds are not healing. They won't heal until I'm with you again. Good night, my little angels. Good night, my sweetheart. <laughs>